okay, let's work out this problem. It says, consider the differential equation, x squared y double prime minus 7xy prime plus 12y equals 0. And it says, verify that the given functions, so x squared and x to the sixth, form a fundamental set of solutions of the differential equation on the indicated interval. Then it tells you that the functions satisfy the differential equation and are linearly independent since, and then it has you fill in the Ronskian. And then it wants the general solution. So basically all we have to do in this problem is compute the Ronskian of these two functions and fill in the blank. And because the Ronskian will not be zero, that means that the functions will be linearly independent. And so whenever you have linearly independent solutions to a differential equation, that's called a fundamental set. So again, a fundamental set of solutions is a set of linearly independent solutions. Once you have those solutions, you can write the answer to this part here, which we can actually do now. So the answer here will always be a linear combination of our solutions. So it'll be this plus this. It's kind of cheap because we don't even have to do anything because they give them to us and they're telling us they're independent. So we know we can just fill that in. Let's go ahead and find the Ronskian because it does want that as well. So to find the Ronskian, we write down this determinant like this. And in the first row, we write down our functions. In the second row, we have to write down the derivatives of our functions. So the derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of x to the 6 is 6x to the 5th. And now we multiply. So this times this, that's going to be 6x to the 7th, right? Because you add the exponents. Minus, there's always a minus in the formula. And then this times this, so 2x to the 7th. And that's equal to 4x to the 7th. And that's not equal to zero, so the functions are independent. So we just come over here and we type in 4x to the seventh. And then for this part here, I'll go ahead and write it down. So basically, because this is not equal to zero for all x, well, for all x not equal to zero, notice the interval here is zero to infinity, so they, were, they did a good job there. Um, these functions are linearly independent, so they form a fundamental set. So the general solution is a linear combination of those functions. So whenever you have linearly independent functions, which we know we have because the Ronskin is not zero, you can take a linear combination of them and that will give you the general solution. Um, something I should mention is it's the second derivative. So notice there's two functions. If it was the third derivative, there would be three functions. Like in this problem down here, which is extremely tedious, there's three functions, and so you would have you would have three C's in this case over here. Um, I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck and take care.